So that's Majin Buu's house, huh? Well, uh, I wonder if he's home. Uh, I hope he isn't. Oh, oh he's not here. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Mozzie Boo? You chicken? Well, uh, that's that then. Uh, he's not here, uh, so I can't fight him. Uh, time to head back now. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm, why'd we turn you into this time? <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second, uh, uh, Mr. Mazian Boo. You see, uh, I've come to see if there's anything I could do for you. <laughs> you want to be Boo's servant? Uh, yeah, of course I do. I've actually uh, uh, brought you a present, Mr. Mazibu. Here, it's some premium chocolate. Take it. Chocolate! What premium? It means it's uh, very expensive and super delicious. Hmm? Please work. <laughs> he ate it. He actually ate it. <laughs> what an idiot. I put enough poison in that chocolate to kill an elephant. Chocolate tasty! Huh? It's better than people chocolate! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see. You fun die! We'll make you servant! What? Oh, well, thank you very much. Why, you don't get too cocky, Fatso. I'm gonna pound you into big putty for this. And so began a strange friendship between Majin Buu and Mr. Satan, with Mr. Satan working tirelessly to keep Majin Buu's mood under control. Several days later, well, welcome back. I'm still in the middle of preparing our meal. Hey, uh, wh what's that dog doing here? This guy no scared of Boo. He no run away. Boo no understand what he say. Do you know what he say? Oh, uh, well, I don't speak dog, but it looks like his leg's in real bad shape. That's why he didn't run away. Huh? Really? Well, okay. Who heal you now? Then get scared and run away! Uh. Now run away! Huh? Why he no run away? Who heal him? <laughs> well, look at that. He's just happy that you made him feel better. I think he likes you now, Mr. Boo. Like Boo? He like Boo? That's right. He likes you. Huh? He like you? You like Boo? Huh? Well, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boo kind of happy. Well, uh, he, he, he actually does seem happy. Um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Boo, sir, uh, may I ask you something? Well, uh, why are you uh, killing people and, uh, and destroying their homes? Because Bibbidi and Bobbidi told Boo to do that! And, uh, who are they again? You know, there, uh, Boo, uh, you shouldn't listen to bad guys like them. Y you see, uh, it's not good to, to kill people and break things. 
You think Boo should not do that? Well, uh, yeah, but, uh, yes. Okay, Boo, stop! Huh? You, uh, won't kill people anymore? Yeah. And no more destruction? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did it! I actually did it! I really am a hero, aren't I? This is it, boss. This has got to be Majin Boo's house. What the hell are you shaking for? I told you, this is gonna be a piece of cake. After all, we've killed a whole bunch of people. What's one more? Well, yeah, but this guy's a margin. Listen up. Boo's killed so many people around the world that people will think anyone we've killed was killed by him. Let's do this! Why do you think Mr. Satan is hanging out with Martin Boo like that? <laughs> Who gives a crap? We'll just kill them both! Then we'll be the heroes! <laughs> Mr. Stason! Damn it! We missed Boo! <laughs> <laughs> what the? I don't believe it. You, you saved me. Thank you. <laughs> What's wrong? Run away! Big dog! Boss of here! You gotta die! What? Die? What are you talking about? You run away now! No! Oh, okay! <laughs> oh, what's going on? Unable to be contained any longer, the evil within Majin Buu came bellowing out and formed into another Majin Buu. The one singular Majin Buu now stood divided, split between his innocent side and his evil side. Rendered weaker from the split, the original Majin Buu stood no chance against his evil counterpart and was ultimately absorbed by him. Ah! 
I think he still remembers me. 